Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll create a workflow to send email task notifications, but only of the high priority tasks. Also, I'll add a link to the task in the email body. So let's jump over to my SharePoint 2013 site. I'm going to open the same site here in SharePoint Designer, and then I'm going to go and create a SharePoint list called Tasks. And I'm going to call that tasks and click OK. And then I'm going to go in and create a workflow. And that's going to be a list workflow that's connected to this task list. And high prio notifications. And I'm going to do this as a SharePoint 2010 workflow in this case. Click OK. And then I'm going to add a condition if any value equals value. And the values I want to check here is the current item priority. And if that is equal to high, then I'm going to do the action of sending an email. I'm going to send the email to the addressee, or rather the assignee, current item assigned to. And I'll return that as an email address. And then I'm going to build a subject line here. I click on this little build icon there. New task. And then I'm going to add a lookup to the current item title. And then in the email body, I'm going to create a link. Click here. And that's going to point to the address. I'm going to click on edit here and click on the tasks list here. Go well, lists and tasks and the edit form. I want to, to open the edit form by default. So I'm going to insert that there and then I'm going to go ahead and edit this. And at the end of this I'm going to add the actual ID of the task. Just adding that parameter to the link there. And then I'm going to look up the ID, the ID and then click OK. And then I'm going to save that email. And finally I'm going to set the trigger on this workflow and that's going to be when it is created. Then I'm going to publish the workflow. And once that's done I'm going to jump into the SharePoint 2013 site again. Refresh the page. And go into the tasks list. So now uh, when I'm created the um, workflow, I'll go ahead. So now I'll create a new task, call that hi test, and assign that to myself. And set it to a high priority. And what happens now is that the workflow is running and that will take a few seconds. So meanwhile I'll create a new one and call that one low test. Assign that to myself too. And then I'll set that to low priority. And then save that too. As you see both these workflows are now completed. So I shouldn't be able to go into my mailbox here and refresh. And as you see now I've received a new email with the proper link here and if I click on that link it gets the proper ID and I go straight into that task and can start editing and completing the task. So let's see, we've done all the steps and this we've achieved the goal. Thank you for watching this demonstration.